with these lipsticks that I started buying like, I don't know, a week or two ago. I have just been just obsessed with them. And at first I couldn't find them everywhere, but now I got them all, baby. I got them all. So I listened to the commercial so that I could uh, say it correctly. And these are the Coloriche Collection Privé de L'Oreal. I call them the Collection Privé Lipsticks by L'Oreal. So it's a line of nudes, and it's kind of confusing because the six that they sell in stores are not the six that they advertise on the website. Uh, so the idea is that these lipsticks are the perfect nude for whichever uh, person is representing them, whosoever's name is on it, basically. So they have them for uh, Frida Pinto, J-Lo, Julianne Moore, um, Dopes and Gross, or I don't know what her name is, I'm sorry and a couple of other people. Anyway, the weird thing is that on the website, they advertise uh, six of them, and one of them is for somebody named Cheryl something, but in stores they sell these six, and they don't sell a Cheryl one, they sell a JLo one, but JLo's nowhere to be seen on the website, so I'm like, my mind is blown by all this, I don't understand but it. But anyway, the lipsticks are amazing. They are so nice, and as far as where you can buy them, I've seen them at Walgreens, Ulta, Target and Walmart. Walmart's the cheapest one. They were about five to five fifty. Walgreens was nine fifty. Ulta was eight ninety nine with the buy one get one half off, which makes them six twenty five a piece. And then Target was five ninety nine. So definitely try to go to Walmart or Target to get them for as cheap as possible because who the hell wants to pay ten dollars for lipstick? So the packaging on these lipsticks is super pretty. It's like a matte black, kind of like what the Lorac like eyeshadow palettes and the NARS and stuff come in. Um, and then it just has this gold in the center, and then it has Collection Privé, and then it has by so and so. Whosoever lipstick it is, whosoever's uh, nude it is, that is the name that is written on the lipstick. So this one is Dotsons, or however the hell you say that. So they're really pretty. I. The packaging is just, it's really awesome. That's kind of what drew me in. That's what made me buy them, to be honest. And I'm super glad that I did though because I really love these lipsticks and it's rare that I fall in love with a lipstick that's actually wearable every single day. So I'm just gonna swatch them off for you guys. I'm gonna start with the lightest one and this is um, number 600, but it's just called Doubtson's Nude. I think it's really pretty. It's like a frosty pink color and I am super in love with it. I actually used it in a recent tutorial which I will link below. But let's take this one off and try Julianne. It's probably my favorite because it's so pretty and this one is number 620. So I think that this Julianne one is like so pretty and I'm pretty sure this is the one that would matches like my skin tone the best because Julianne Moore is crazy pale and so am I. I know sometimes I look a little bit darker on screen but I'm actually incredibly pale and I think this one complements my look the most but for the sake of my darker skinned ladies or less fair skinned I suppose um, I will show you guys all of them. And Next up we have JLo and this is Jennifer's Nude and this is number six no, I'm sorry, this is number 370. So this is Jennifer's Nude. I think this one is really, really, really pretty also, but it's a little bit darker than what I would typically wear. However, um, I've used this with a certain makeup look where I kind of did really dramatic eyes, and it really it just went with it perfectly. It's, it's a gorgeous color. This is the JLo one right here. It's a little bit darker than Julianne's, and it has more of a brownish kind of undertone versus this one having more of a pinkish one. And then Doubtson's right there, which you can barely see. And now we're going to get into the slightly darker ones, since Frida Pinto has a darker skin tone for sure. But Frida's is so pretty. It's not for me. It's not for my lips. It's not for my skin. But it's so pretty. If you can rock it, rock it. So this is Frida's nude. Frida obviously has a darker skin tone, but oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So if this one is even darker, almost with like a purpley kind of undertone to it. It's even darker than the JLo one, but it's just, it's so pretty. And you can see that these have a lot of color payoff. I saw people complaining that they were too sheer or too nude or whatever, but they're not. I think they have plenty of color payoff. Dowson's is the most sheer, but I think that's kind of the point. So if you don't want something super sheer, baby pink, frosty looking, don't get that one. But the other ones definitely, come on, that's a lot of color payoff right there. And then we have Eva's Nude, which is number 610. 
So Eva's Nude, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it's actually just, it's gorgeous. It's perfect for like a darker sort of look, in my opinion, because I'm so fair skinned. But if you have darker skin or more olive tone skin, I think this would be like phenomenal on you. And the L'Oreal website has like a matching tool in case you're not sure which one to get. And now we have the last color in the line, which is Leah's Nude. I believe it's Leah's. It's number 630, and it is the darkest of all the lipsticks. So this is Leah's Nude, and this is by far the darkest of all of them. And it's obviously giving me sort of a little gothic vibe, but if you have a darker skin tone, this would probably look lovely on you and be more of a nude to your skin tone. But all in all, I'm super impressed with these lipsticks. I'm impressed with how long they wear. I'm impressed with the color payoff. I'm impressed with the price because five or 550 for a drugstore lipstick is phenomenal by my standards. And I think that they are really awesome. The packaging is amazing. It's limited edition. They're so pretty. I never get hyped up about lipsticks. Like seriously, I never get hyped up about lipsticks, but here I am hella hyped up about some lipsticks. Let me change my lips because girl, this is not the one that works for you. So let me know if you guys want to see anything else about makeup or makeup tutorials or reviews or anything like that. These lipsticks are the bomb.com. You should definitely go check them out. Try out the website to see like, you know, get color matched or whatever for your particular skin tone or what you're going for. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in my next one. And I also hope that you're having a really amazingly awesome day. So I'll see you guys in my next video.